Iron Mountain Public Schools liaison officer is on the ballot this February. TV6's Iron Mountain Kingsford Bureau reporter Blake Ryerson shares how the officer impacts the students and community and what it costs district taxpayers. I, I like School liaison officer Matthew Opolka has only been in the position for a little over a month. He says the students have already latched on to him. I, uh, I like to go on at recess time at North Elementary and uh, throw the football around for them. They're always coming back to me asking me to play again with them and play football. And even during uh, the lunch hour here, the, the fifth and sixth graders enjoy when I go over and uh, play kickball with them and uh, hang out in the lunchroom with them. Officer Opolka's role goes beyond school safety. He acts as a helping hand to the staff, directing students between classes and after school, as well as informing students about how the Iron Mountain Police Department can help them. Iron Mountain Public Schools Superintendent Jerry Sardina says the school liaison officer is a critical part of the education process. I don't know how school districts uh, afford not to do it in today's day and age because it's no longer just about math and English and writing, um, but it's about um, helping raise, helping parents raise their children. Iron Mountain Public Schools got its first liaison officer about two decades ago, according to the Director of Police and Fire Services, Ed Matson. We've had one longer than most, uh, over 20 years in some form. Uh, we did lose it for a few years uh, due to some funding issues, uh, but we did bring it back, I believe, in 2018, 19 in that area, uh, and we've had it filled ever since. A levy passed in November 2019 has funded the position. It will need to be renewed so it can continue after this school year. The district will ask voters for up to 0.55 mills for five years, although taxpayers may see a smaller amount on their bill if the cost for the position is lower. The millage will be on the ballot in the February 27th election. Blake Ryerson, TV6 News, Iron Mountain. And we never saw Blake again. <laughs> Thank you, Blake, for that report.